welcome to the world of... Oh no, Lincoln. Sitting on our desk right now is lots and lots of storage devices. These are all the different things that we have traveled with since we started YouTube a few years ago. All of these are full with footage. Now some YouTubers are like, man, why would you keep all of your footage? Why don't you just delete it? Well, I like to keep all the raw footage because it's not everything makes the cut in the video. We didn't used to have this family channel. We just had the What's Inside channel and we would travel around the world. For example, our gold play button video. Yeah. We have like two and a half minutes of footage, but we traveled around the world for like three weeks. Yeah. So what we'd like to do is show you some funny clips and some outtakes and some different things from our gold play button trip around the world. Are you ready to see some awesome footage from our gold play button trip? Are you? Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you, are you really ready though? All right. Are you ready? Let's find some of this footage. I'm ready. Starting it off, Guam. That was our first place we went on this trip. And we went snorkeling there. That was Lincoln's favorite place. One scene that we wanted to get is we wanted to fly it at the hotel because we were staying at the Hilton in Guam. It's beautiful and they have this giant beach so awesome. that you can snorkel and everything. And I tried to fly it and apparently we were too close to the airport because DJI would not let me fly. So we were all set up this morning. Because the drone didn't work, I just held it in my hand and I walked toward him. And it made the cut. If you watch the video, it's one of the first scenes. All I did was held the drone because it's so stable. And then I walked. Let's see. There it is. I just walked with the drone. <laughs> Next stop, we went to Shanghai, China. Oh, the air there was so bad. The air was really bad. Lincoln cried. It was so bad. My lungs hurt so bad. So while we, we stayed at the Ritz, which is super <laughs> fancy. Here's our fancy hotel room. Let's check it out. Play button from our hotel in China. Stand up on that ledge. Boom. China. Too high. <laughs> I can't actually just turn it this way a little bit so you can see. The reflection's terrible and I can't turn it. Oh, I can't even see it. It's not bright. Hold on. It's just not reflecting. Hold it just in front of you. Hold it. Alright, gold, silver, play button. <laughs> <laughs> I gold, uh, right, gold, silver, 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 gold, and then it just cuts out. I'm so Wait, hungry. What did I say? Yeah. So Lincoln was hungry. We were jet lagged. We just flew from Guam, and we went down to this restaurant that was inside of the hotel. Oh, they had such good food there. They had all sorts of stuff. It was just, so fancy. Just stuff everywhere. Look at and the view is just funny though, because it's just like cloudy outside. Oh, the, got the bread like muffins. The bread there is so good. Oh, it's so good. The bread is amazing. Oatmeal station. Oatmeal station. Look at you. Just <laughs> have a plate with five sausages. What is that breakfast? Oh, look at all this food. How many sausages? <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. Sausages. <laughs> look at this. I had to talk quiet because we were in Asia and it was so quiet, but I was kind of freaking out. Look at all that fruit. I don't even know what half of this stuff was. Like, what? What is that? <laughs> Is that even a fruit? Now we are to the salad station, which has some pretty awesome stuff like Chinese artichoke and my favorite, pork jelly. Ew! Okay, so this is a uh, mixed duck vegetarian. I How is vegetarian duck a thing? The world may never know. Vegetarian means you don't eat animals. Yes! So why would you eat duck? Mixed duck vegetarian. And then why, why would people have mixed duck vegetarian for like, breakfast? I feel like it's lost in translation. Who care? I don't care what time of the day they eat it. That shouldn't even be a thing. Vegetarian duck. duck. <laughs> Was the duck a vegetarian? All ducks are vegetarian. I don't, I don't get this, guys. Let us know if you know what the heck we're talking about. Get ready for the part that is very exciting. Oh, I had like oh, my... Wait a second. I had my first omelet there. Yo, don't spoil the video. It's coming. Please tell me it's... Nice. Look at that omelet. Yes. Nice. I need a plate. Oh, looks like a bullet. There's an omelet like that. Thank you. Look at that thing. This is Lincoln's first ever omelet in his life. No joke. Okay, you just break off the end and just put a piece. Break off the end? Like, psh, do a bite size part and I'll just go in the middle of it. So at the end, like a knife. No, don't poke at it. Just. Don't poke at it. <laughs> That's it. I didn't actually film when he ate the omelet. Sorry. 
I know you guys are waiting for that. Yeah. It, it would have been a great moment. It would have been a great moment. Okay, another fun thing. Oh yeah, those guys! After we ate breakfast, we went to um, a park, a giant park in Shanghai. We just happened to walk upon it. If you get there early in the morning on a certain day, everybody exercises out there. Okay, ready? Set, let's go. Okay, right next to me. I already got it. Yep. And I thought, what a great idea for us to do a thing where we're holding the play button and smiling, and we stand there. We have to stand there for a long time, because so if you stand there for a long time, then it looks like they're moving fast when they're really moving like turtles. Standing there. Maybe I, maybe it's not as funny as I think it is. I think it's pretty funny. That was weird and funny. Then right across from the park there was this temple, mm -hmm. this temple area, and we walked in it and it was actually amazing. What day is it today? Oh. <laughs> Wow. And then I was like, hey, let's get a picture. This will be a good shot. I had a, we had a Chinese friend there helping us. She was like our guide. She said it was okay for us to do this. But I still felt super awkward. Like, so we turn around, we hold it up, and then I'm like, this is awkward. No, let's, uh, this is not appropriate. And I just felt like, no. I did not feel like that was appropriate, even though it would have been a killer shot. Mm -hmm. and so I didn't make the cut with it. And then we just kind of put the gold play button away and we just walked around. I, I guess we did pull it out once. We went into this cool room with all of these golden dudes. Look at all these guys. And then there's one that I zoomed in on because I thought he looked like Paul Chicken from Shondaris' channel. That guy. And I actually included that in the Gold Play Button video because I'm like, hey look, it's Tall Chicken. <laughs> look at this, this one with all the hands and arms. Oh my God. I thought it was interesting because we were in Guam the day before. We just flew to China with no plans. We're like, I don't know what we're gonna do for our shots. We walk around and all of a sudden, we were only on the ground for 12 hours and I feel like we had such a cultural experience. We only actually were literally on the ground for an hour and a half, like seeing all this stuff and then we got to the hotel and slept and then went to the yeah. airport. Hour and a half and we got to see all of this. That's good. Okay, got it? <laughs> good. I'm sure this is. Hey Lincoln, come on over this way. It's hot. Holy really moly. Hot. Oh, it's so hot. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Oh, it fell over already. That is you intense wanna, heat. If, you, if, if it's a cool night and you want to warm your face up, that's... That'll warm you up? Yeah. Wow. Like right here. Tips by Lincoln. If it's a cold night and you want to warm your face up, go to China on a certain morning at this place and put your face by it. I love this shot. This was a shot. Did we include this in the gold play button video? So, no. Close your eyes. I don't think so. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Pretend like you're asleep, Lincoln. We gotta get the gold play button shot. Then you eyes. just went down and then I just slept and you worked. Yeah. This is how Lincoln sleeps. <laughs> Fake <sleeps. laughs> Your mic is off. It's okay. You okay, okay, my so. mic was off. Wait, do it again. Okay. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I laughing. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you're gonna laugh again. Next to his buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we tried really hard, guys. I'm happy. Well, let's watch it. Come on! I want to sleep! 
<laughs> that was so cozy. Yeah. I just uploaded 23 minutes of footage. Um, I. And this is just in China. There are some really funny moments. Japan had some great moments. Yeah. And there's a bunch, and then England, there's a couple others that I want to show. But I feel like for this video, it's just not sufficient. Like we need to go through this footage and like actually put something together and talk to you more about it. But for now, I need to get some of this footage off of here because my wife really wants us to bring these computers back. So this is what you do. If you're looking for some type of storage, this is a good option. They sell it at B&H Photo. You can Google search it, Drobo. And essentially what you do is you take off this cover and you put the hard drives in here. What? These hard drives right there. That's really cool. So we can put five of them in here. You could be a YouTuber that just deletes all of this footage after you film and you upload the video to YouTube. I like to keep the final project and I like to keep every single file so that in the future, if we ever want to do anything else with it, or just for like a little journal, like these little moments, maybe they weren't as funny to you, but they were awesome. They mean a lot to us. Like it documents our trip, even especially before we did vlogging. And there's a lot of stuff even in the vlogs when we travel that we don't include in the videos, but are good memories to have because obviously when we make a YouTube video, we want to make it the best possible not just for our memories, but also for entertainment value. And some stuff just maybe doesn't fit the storyline. And if you are a YouTuber, a few tips I would have. First, film in 4K. I know it takes more work. You have to have more hard drives, faster computer, but um, it, it can be good. At least it used to be good for the algorithm that it really liked 4K footage. If you live in a country where the internet is really slow, don't mess with it. Don't get 4K, but in the United States, you should be able to get 4K footage and be able to use it properly. The thing that I like to do, that I learned the hard way, I had to learn it from this guy right here, Jonathan Morrison, TLD Today, that's his logo. He taught me to edit off of and store stuff on an external hard drive, like a small external hard drive. And that's really good because it kept my computer from actually getting full. And then I could take all of the files and the footage and I could just plug it into multiple computers here at the office or at the home and the laptop and then it was easier to transfer stuff over. The next step that I'm just barely doing in this video right now, like you're seeing, is finally I got Drobo, I got some storage so that I can actually store it, take it off of here, put it all onto the Drobo. I also store my stuff on Google Drive. I'm, I'm kind of crazy about that, like I like to have it in multiple places. Anyway, let us know if you would like to see more footage of uh, random videos and old stuff and have us react to it. That was fun. Big thanks to Drobo for sending me these drives and also the ugh, Seagate drives. Um, that was super rad. If you're looking for some hard drives, we will put a link in the description for the hard drives and then also for Drobo so that you can go buy it on your own. And uh, let me know if you want to see more of this type of video. See ya. That was weird and funny and funny and funny and funny.